football. The sport that ignites passion, excitement, and intense debates. The beautiful game doesn't lack its fair share of controversies, from infamous handballs to contentious referee decisions. Here are the 10 most controversial football decisions that changed history. And at number 10, the 1978 World Cup group stage match between Brazil and Sweden. An intense game between the two teams seemed to be destined for a draw at one all. Until Clive Thomas, the referee, awarded Brazil a corner kick in the dying seconds of the game. Goal! Zico has given Brazil the lead. That's what many thought. But then Clive Thomas blew the final whistle immediately after the corner kick was taken. So the match ended in a bitter one-all draw, leaving everyone confused and questioning the timing of that whistle. Crazy, right? It only gets more controversial and crazier. Because next, we have a single moment that shredded an entire nation's ambition. In 2009, a World Cup qualifying match between France and the Republic of Ireland. Ireland was a goal up against France in extra time. The scoreline meant France wouldn't qualify for the World Cup if the match was to end like that. France was not ready to miss the World Cup, so the moment that had fans talking to this day went down. In the 102nd minute, France got a free kick. As the ball was crossed into the box, it seemed like it had passed everyone and went out for a goal kick. But Henri had other ideas. To the amazement of everyone, this goal was awarded. The most painful part of it all was that the goal was enough to deny Ireland a spot in the 2010 World Cup. A sad, sad tale for Ireland. Luckily for them, it wasn't the competition itself. Unlike this team that lost its name and glory because of a silly decision. The AFCON 2000 final, the showdown between Nigeria and Cameroon in Lagos, Nigeria, promised to be the match of the century. And it lived up to expectations as the match was tightly contested. The game ended to all after extra time until penalties. Everything appeared to be going well until Victor Ikpeba of Nigeria stepped up to take his spot kick. The penalty was converted, but the ref, Murad Dami, thought otherwise and blew the whistle for a missed penalty. This decision cost Nigeria the trophy, a controversial loss at home in front of their fans. That was surely a hard pill to swallow. Yes, it was. The Nigerians took to the streets, causing a huge riot in the city of Lagos that day. The Lagos governor had to intervene. He said he was able to get hold of the situation because he subscribed to Kicker World for the next football stories and facts. So to avoid chaos, subscribe to the channel, like and share, and enjoy the best of football facts. Facts like, why was goal line technology introduced? This was the controversy that led to the technology. It was the 2010 World Cup round of 16 match between England and Germany in South Africa. Although it was a round of 16, it ended up being one of the most memorable games of the tournament because of this certain moment. It all went down in the first half. The Germans were ahead of the three Lions 2-1 and the men from England pressed high for an equalizer. And in the 38th minute, Lampard found space just outside the 18-yard box and took a venomous shot. Lampard and his teammates celebrated massively, only to have their joy cut short by the referee. Play resumed as the goal wouldn't stand. This controversy wasn't going to be left alone. And two years later, the goal line technology was introduced. Oh well, the referee was spared and no harm came to him, unlike this referee whose decisions cost him his freedom. In a German Cup match, Paderborn was faced with Hamburg and the most extreme of all controversies occurred. Into the game, Paderborn was outclassed on their home turf by Hamburg. The home team was two goals down and on the brink of elimination. Suddenly, the match turned in their favor. Robert Hoysier, the officiating referee, awarded Paderborn two ridiculous penalties. And if that wasn't enough, he still sent one of Hamburg's players off. Some kind of scandal was suspected, so the FA went ahead to investigate. It was later discovered that Robert Heuser took a bribe of 46,000 euros and a television set to make sure Paderborn went through against Hamburg. 
Yeah, you heard that right. Come on, bro. A television? Ridiculous. Anyway, Poyser wasn't going to be watching any television as he was tried for corrupting and sentenced for two years and five months to prison. But then sometimes, players also have a huge part to play in these controversies, just like when this player outsmarted the officials. Euro 2020 semifinals England versus Denmark. A match between two fierce rivals. And just like any other rivalry match, this game was intensely fought. Denmark had gone ahead in the 30th minute of the game through a sensational free kick. But England quickly leveled the game. And in the first half of extra time, this happened. There was no way that was a penalty. Joaquin Mela didn't touch Sterling. But then, the dive by the English marksman was convincing enough to confuse the referee and even the officials of the VAR. So, penalty. This controversial moment was a very huge one, as it pretty much cost Denmark the game, because that goal sent England to the final. However, karma also exists in football, because in our next video, the tables turn. 2019, the UEFA Champions League quarterfinal was a Premier League showdown as Tottenham faced Man City. This match remains one of the most VAR-influenced games. The first goal of the game was scored by the Spurs striker Lorente in the 73rd minute. The goal was highly contested by the City players as they felt Lorente used his hands to score the goal. The referee went to the pitch side monitor and decided the goal would stand. But then things got worse. In additional time of the second half, Sterling thought he'd equalize the goals and put City through on away goals as he scored a brilliant strike. But after the wild celebration from City and supporters, the goal was overruled for offside. Manchester City could not believe it. There was no way that goal was offside. Anyways, the ref has the final say. City lost the game 4-3 and their English counterparts, Tottenham, went through to the semi-finals. Woo, that's unbelievable, huh? Yeah, that's indeed one word that Chelsea fans say whenever they remember this match. Man, where do I start? It was the 2009 UEFA Champions League semi-final between Chelsea and Barcelona. Both teams were at the top of their game. Both teams had the best players at that time. It was surely going to be a cagey affair. But then the London club was cheated on by the referee Tom Ovrebo. And I doubt they would ever forgive this man because it wasn't just one moment. Several controversial moments in that game made many believe the men from Spain had bribed the ref. From denied penalties to unwarranted bookings, the controversies were just too many. But then if the truth is to be told, Barcelona didn't win against Chelsea. Tom Ovrebo won Chelsea. Next up, the unimaginable happened known to this day as one of the most controversial goals of all time. Stefan Kiesling's goal for Leverkusen against Hoffenheim. Back then, there was nothing like VAR. So when Stefan struck a sharp shot toward the goal, it hit the side netting and tore the post with the ball. Ending up at the back of the net, it was presumed as though he did score the goal. Amusing though, right? Well, that's what you get with the absence of technology. The infamous handball goal so iconic, the legend Diego Maradona was named after it. The most controversial goal ever scored in the history of the beautiful game. This game remains forever embedded in every football fan's head because Diego added to his tally on that day with what was regarded as the goal of the century. When asked, Diego said he scored the goal a little with his head and a little with the hand of God. <laughs> football will forever be amazing. So there you have it, 10 of the most controversial moments in football history. Do you know of any moment worthy of this list? Let us know in the comment section. Also, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you won't forget when next we upload. Speaking of forgetting, here are the most unforgettable matches in football history. Click on the video below. Go ahead, do it, do it now.